so I, I am upset with my own party. The platform, though, of the Libertarian Party is still more immigration friendly than any other party. I'm, I'm very certain of that. Unfortunately, I I need to read the Green Party's platform to be, be certain on that. Um, I personally, even before I knew this was coming up, I was on News 8 Austin and I said I was against ICE coming into our local jails. Gerald Daugherty, my opponent, and Karen Huber, my opponent for county commissioner, that's a Republican and Democrat, they both sounded like they were fine with it. So uh, I'm against ICE in our county jails. Republican and Democrats are for it. All right, well, uh, unfortunately, time is flying by, and we're only going to get to about half of the questions I have prepared. We already have a few from the audience coming in. Again, uh, look around somewhere either on your table or up at the front. There are pieces of paper if uh, anyone in the audience wants to write down uh, your questions. Uh, this one is also uh, a police issue, and it's a question that's been brought up in the uh, election for uh, Travis County Sheriff, and that is the use of tasers by the police department. If I could just say as an introduction to this question, I believe that both sides of this issue have humanity in mind. I think it's pretty clear that people who are for tasers uh, mean to give police officers another option besides shooting someone with a gun, whereas people who oppose tend to think that they would be used, or that they are used too easily, where they wouldn't have used a gun at all, instead they use a taser, sometimes people die. Um, but. I think that the motives on, on both sides of the argument are pretty clear. Now I want to hear what your arguments are, starting with you, Debbie. Way more than a minute and a half. Uh, <clears throat> some of you know my long-standing work on this issue. And you asked about the Sheriff's Department, but I probably think you probably mean APD. In the Sheriff's Department, we have had really no major uh, abuse of the, of the taser. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to... Well, I, I think it came up in the election for for Travis County Sheriff. Oh, I think it did because Raymond Frank brought it up. Corporations in this in, in the world pushing this product by any means at their disposal, they are preemptively suing doctors and researchers and journalists to stop uh, documenting the, a lot of things that need to be documented. Um, what what the problem is is they need to. Um, they're using this every day, and it's marketed as an everyday tool. And they're training the officers to use them every day. We're seeing these used way more than any other means, and that needs to stop. As a stop tasers.org! <laughs> thank you, stoptasers.org. Thank you for promoting my website. <laughs> Andy Brown from the uh, Travis County Democratic Party. Yeah, I think I, I'm going to once again agree with Debbie on this one. It sounds like a case of uh, something that there may be a proper use for it. I can't really think of a, a great one at this point, but um, it may be just like guns where if, if you use them correctly, I guess there's a use for them, but uh, I, I don't know anything about this subject other than what Debbie just said, and I know that on these kind of issues, I tend to side with Debbie anyhow, so I'm going to shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Erica Grignon from the Constitution Party. I'm personally concerned about, you know, at least once a month or maybe even once a week, I read in the news about a taser death. The police have no idea if somebody has heart problems or some kind of condition where if they take them, you know, they could just die. And, and, and they're using them on children, and, and I'm very concerned. Um, maybe there is a place for them to use a, a taser occasionally, um, but it, it's also a problem just with the police in general, just frequently using them. You know, it seems, you know, they're abusing people with them, and. Um, I would have to say that I'm probably more against the police using tasers than, than I am for it. And um, Bill Holloway from the Green Party of uh, Travis County. Thank you. Well, I'm going to join the love fest here. Uh, sort of. Um, we def it's shocking. <laughs> yeah, the, these uh, tasers were promoted as a less than lethal option for the police and to the degree that that's a reality and there is a body of ethics around surrounding their use scientifically based it's not driven by corporate propaganda that's one thing but tasers are not always less than lethal as has been pointed out uh, these weapons are very dangerous 
uh, they need to be regarded as such, and we need to do a lot of thinking through about how these devices are used because it needs to be it needs to be carefully studied and carefully applied so we understand what's going on with the police department and with the corporate propaganda behind it. Wes Benedict, Texas Libertarian Party. I don't think the Libertarian Party specifically addresses use of tasers or not in particular. Um, I ran for Austin City Council once and Debbie Russell was my uh, campaign manager at that time. What? So, <laughs> I probably didn't say I was for using them and shooting everybody with them. Um, in general, though, I think our our uh, our police state is getting too big and, and encroaching. We've got cameras everywhere. We've got stoplight cameras. We've, we've, we've got text tag things that track us when we're driving. And uh, tasers are just another tool in the hands of police and the government to keep us under control and I don't want to be kept under control and I don't think libertarians do either. Yeah. All right, now uh, Don Zimmerman, you're the Republican up here. Let's hear it. Well, uh, unfortunately, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the Travis Republican Party hasn't brought up this subject, so I, I'm not aware of any resolutions for or against tasers. But I can point out that Raymond Frank is the Republican nominee for sheriff, and he agrees with Deb. So enough said. Thank you. Okay, now, uh, boy, I'm gonna have to choose. I think here between Capital Metro and the Edwards Aquifer. What do you guys think? You want to choose? Let's talk about the Edwards Aquifer. Is the status quo regarding regulation of new development over the Edwards Aquifer acceptable? Why or why not? And particularly if uh, you could couch your answer uh, with regards to the difference between the regulatory powers of the city of Austin versus Travis County and what role that might play. Andy Brown, you're first on this one. All right. Um, uh, no. Is my answer to your initial question. The uh, regulation is not sufficient, I don't believe. Uh, I think, and this might be a good one for uh, Wes and I to differ on. I've, my candidate for county commissioner is Karen Huber. She's running against the incumbent Gerald Doherty. And one of her uh, big, I guess, platforms for this is that the county needs more power to enforce some environmental laws uh, that currently they're unable to enforce and that Gerald Doherty has been opposed to uh, enforcing or even having to ensure the uh, environmental quality of the Edwards Aquifer and the general uh, environment in the greater Travis County area. I guess in the Travis County area. Um, I think that, you know, Barton Springs are, are the Edwards Aquifer are the things that are completely not replaceable about our, where we live and we need to do everything we can to protect them and make sure that they're here and existing for many years to come. Um, I think that uh, the county needs to increase its role in that area for areas that are outside of the city limits. Eric Edgar Hunt from the Constitution Party. You know, I'll admit that I really don't know a lot about this issue and I would just like to concede my time for this and I would probably more than likely agree with Wes and that's fair. Bill Holloway? Well, it's absolutely the case that um, the county needs to have more tools at its disposal and do better enforcement of environmental laws in, in the county territory because there's obvious, obviously or absolutely a difference between city and county authority on this. And we're enthusiastic to have candidates run like Karen Huber on this issue who are going to stand for the environment because Austin was founded where it is largely because of the because of Barton Springs Pool. And 10,000 plus Austinites get their drinking water from the Edwards Aquifer. It's obviously critical. It's the soul of the city in a lot of ways, and we've stood behind SOS regulations. And we believe SOS is a well thought out, the SOS amendment was well thought out. It wasn't SOS law ordinance. And unfortunately, the city has been granting variances to this and grandfathering properties in AMD. Uh, in Austin, located not just in the contributing zone of the Edwards Aquifer, but only a tenth of a mile from the recharge zone, with silt and all the other runoff that's going to come from all the car trips polluting the aquifer. Uh, so we stand solidly behind the SOS amendment, and we are glad to hear or hope that the county will continue to improve its enforcement environmental laws to protect this 
one-of-a-kind resource in the world. The Edwards Aquifer salamander uh, the, is not found anywhere else in the world. Unique. And so we need to protect it. West Benedict, uh, libertarians tend